here's here's my burning question because I've been curious about this the entire time. Because we put out the video about where are the Americans are being Europe. <laughs> How many Americans have you had here? Um, this year, I think maybe one or two. two oh my gosh! Not that much now. Our people. Yeah. Come on, guys, you're sh <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? You're missing out. <laughs> when we set out over five years ago to start traveling as a family, living full time in an RV was not part of the equation. The only thing we knew, kind of, was that we were going to see this world and eventually land in a sailboat, maybe. The sailboat is still part of the plan, but what we have learned from being in 21 and a half feet of rolling metal for the last two and a half years is that it will carry us to even the most unique of travel situations. RVing Europe is something that offers so much because you get to see those things that you would never think about when you were just on a plain old train or a bus. And today we're going to show you how you too can experience Europe in an RV, no matter where your home country is. So welcome to a typical Wednesday afternoon here in the RV. Alan's in her French class, Largo's in his cooking class, and I'm just trying to go ahead and get survival class in terms of getting a video edited out. Monday through Wednesday is always a bit of a challenge because we all have always something that we're 100% occupied on. And so whenever someone needs help, it's like, seriously, you want me to help you? <laughs> it's, but with Largo, who's doing his cooking class, we, we kind of get it. So we're, we're trying to be as accommodating as possible. Right now would be the time I would put in the bacon. The bacon? Oh, we don't have the bacon. It's a bummer being a vegetarian, huh? It's a bummer not having bacon. It is a bummer not having bacon. What's Largo making? Math is in 10 minutes. I think he's making potato soup. I'm not even sure. I think you might need to take over once I go into math. How long is your class? I thought this is an hour It's an hour. Look, finish this, you can do math What if we go over? Cooking's more important than math. We're hungry, Largo. <laughs> it's okay if you go over, Largo. It's okay. New country, guys. We're in the Netherlands! Woo! Two more countries left. Luxembourg and Belarus. And Belarus. I should start checking flights to Belarus. I bet the colder it gets, the less expensive they'll be. I think I gotta grow my, my, my winter beard. Your winter there. beard? <laughs> <laughs> so we're now just entering into country number 50. The oh Netherlands. My gosh. 50, Will? 50 countries in two and a half years. Almost. Some yeah. people do 50 countries in a year, one and, a week. So I that, think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that doesn't even cover like. Morocco. Morocco. Uh, it doesn't cover the non Mexico countries that we went to. The US. Cover, okay, anyway, we're in we're the Netherlands. Um, there's one thing that we had sort of penciled in for Netherlands, and you're going to make it sound like, really? What is that? I know we're going to go to Amsterdam and all that fun stuff, but there's, there's a place that exists here which allows foreigners, meaning like non Europeans, to rent RVs or to own RVs. To rent them and own them here. Seamlessly and get this the name is happy campers happy campers and there's a really bad something So I'm I just was gonna just go looking like at the back of my our head is like whoa split all right, but, all right. but listen, life, at life in the army the point of the matter is this is that after our last video about where are all the Americans RVing in Europe? There was a lot of questions that were put out there going um, I don't, well, I don't like I don't the know, idea I don't. Of, of being in a foreign country to do an RV thing. And how do I buy it? How do right. I register it? Like the whole foreign thing insurance? just sounded kind of weird. But there but is a place. It's easier with them. Right. With who? The people we're talking with about. With happy campers, you're right. <laughs> there, there's a place that helps you do it without sort of making it a real pain in the rear end. And so we are determined to go meet with them today. So for everyone who said they couldn't do it because of this reason, no more reason now. So get your butt in our World Hunting University class and then call Happy Campers and get your RV and get over here! But we're going to learn a lot about that all today. Jessica, Hi, how are you? Harman, nice to meet you. We have heard so much about you guys that we had to come meet you in person. So I hope you guys live up to the reputation. It's all good. It's all good we've here. I, I promise. 
so we've just met up with him now he's got to go inside because we just like sprung this hi how are you doing thing um on him and he said yeah of course we'll talk we'll talk we'll talk he's got to do a little bit of work but we're gonna go inside he's gonna actually give us like the whole rundown it's so amazing he's gonna tell us exactly how this whole thing works about how we get an rv and how you can do this without sort of being like a resident here in europe um just wait it's gonna be actually really cool So today we are chatting with Harman from EuroperoadTrip.com and the reason we're chatting with him guys is because he has the secret to get you RVing in Europe and a couple weeks ago we did a vlog where you were, we asked the question of why are there no Americans RVing in Europe? We're American, we see no Americans, where are you guys, what's the big deal, why aren't you here? And the number one reason you were not here was because how do I buy a vehicle, what do I do about when I sell it, what about insurance, how do I register it? And we are chatting with him today because he has all the answers. So expect you guys to get your butts over here after you go to their website and come do this because it's totally worth it. So tell us, tell us what you do. Why do they want to come to you? What do you what do you have to offer? So yeah, we're a small uh, family business in the Netherlands, and we offer for non-Europeans to purchase a vehicle in Europe, and to have a repurchase price after their travels. So for example, if you want to travel for six months or for a year, it's very difficult to put a registration on your own name if you don't have a residence in the country, and even insurance, it's not allowed if you don't live in the country you're buying it so this is what we take out completely out of the out of the hand of the customer and we offer to sort out the registration and insurance for them so they could purchase a vehicle and then travel and then simply sell it back after it's funny we get a, like yeah. I said we asked the question we get a lot of people that want to do this and reach out to us and ask questions it's a small percentage who actually do it yeah obviously. but we do get a lot of people who want who want to do this they're just scared you know, they're yeah, scared about the buying and the selling and the insurance and they're more scared about that than the actual dumping the poop and okay. stuff like that. Yes. So when we first heard about them, I loved what I was drawn to. Well, one, we, we, uh, we didn't buy ours through them because we have a French citizen, a French visa. So we're able to do all the logistics through that. But you guys come to us and you ask us questions and we send you to them because I thought, wow, this is no mess, right? You do everything for them. You even pick them up at the airport, yeah, right? True. What I love about this more than anything else, and there's a lot of things I love about this, <sighs> but but they, I mean, because the idea is getting more people out. I mean, at yeah. the end of the day, you know, it's, it's giving people the opportunity to sort of live out this this, this dream of, of sort of seeing Europe via a motorhome. And it's a, it's a great way to see Europe. Right. I don't know how we would have seen it otherwise without, you know, without being rich. Right, anyone can see it if they want to fly to location and stay in nice hotels and eat at restaurants. But this is the most economical way to see it, and I think the most, um, the most authentic way to see it because you can go to oh, little towns yeah. and stuff up the grid. But so to do it the way that you know, because as as like you said, uh, it, it, it's difficult for people who no, who are not Europeans <laughs> to buy one because they they lack the physical presence address. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. So you give them that opportunity because the the other alternative would be to <clears throat> rent an RV. Or a motorhome, and and that yeah. can be extremely pricey. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can you can spend six months, and you can basically spend the equivalent of a buying one, buying right? one. Yeah, even more sometimes. Right. Yeah. So yeah. what what you're offering is basically the idea of you don't have to spend twenty thousand oh, euros to go ahead and rent an RV for you know a yeah. year or whatever the case may be. You and can, we'll buy it back for and you. And they'll buy it back. It it I, it's it's so, like a win win win. Talk to me. So if people people want, how does the process start with you? They email you or they yeah. call you? They email me most of the and time. And then yeah. once do they get to the point where they're saying, okay, we want to do this. Do you have them sign a contract? Do they wire funds? Do they ref wire 100%? Do they wire 50%? Yeah, how does all that work? So yeah, when they, when they email us, they usually just have like very fake questions yeah. and they're learning about the buyback program. So we get into that and we offer them vehicles most of the time. It's like people ask us that they want to do something, but they don't know what they want exactly. So we find a vehicle for them. And if they find something they like, we first make a concept contract so people can read whatever is written in the contract, even before they sign it or before they pay a single penny, okay. they know what they will get. Is it in so, Dutch? No, it's all in English, <laughs> obviously. No, it's in English. Um, yeah, we don't ask you to sell your soul. It's not good enough. But um, no, so people, when they have this contract and they say, okay, it's really nice, we ask them to place uh, 10%. Okay. Um, depends on how much 
the how much they're buying the vehicle for as well because sometimes people are buying a vehicle that is more expensive uh -huh. but because we buy them back anyway yeah we can offer it for their budget so we okay. kind of fit into their budget okay and they pay us 10 percent. but if they for like a rental or for lower it's anywhere if it's just if it's just enough for us to know for sure that the customer is actually coming to us yeah and yeah after they pay that we basically still update them so we when we service the vehicle when something happens we let them know and say like okay it needed some new tires we're putting new tires on it sometimes we even send a little photo of weeds are working on the tires okay and <laughs> this is before yeah, they get the vehicle yeah, it's before they're even here and people sometimes send over things they purchase it online and they just have it sent over to and then you put us. it in yeah so we just put it in and oh that's yeah. great so say they were someone like us who works online yep. digital nomads or and they have or they have kids at their schooling and they want to get totally tricked out like we've tricked this baby out that's it, yeah. they can send you everything they need and you'll Before have it ready to go arrive. when yeah. they get yeah. oh well, wow they, they discuss it with right. me because sometimes it's possible and sometimes with things we are not familiar yeah. with we need to have somebody do it but even that is possible so basically it's one-stop shopping they can get here everything can be ready if and they, they can want. take yeah, off yeah. in a couple days yeah. now what happens if they're out and something breaks down um the, how does that work depends on where they are like for example we offer a warranty uh -huh. um if it's within the warranty sometimes because like the official warranty rules would say that you have to go back to the place where you right. buy it but if our customers are in spain it's not really <laughs> it's not really fair to say oh, well, come back to the netherlands and we'll sort it out for you within the warranty right so what we do is we offer this pro this, this system where we will find garages around and we will decide if the guarantee if the garage is worthy to our warranty so it's possible that people are for example i had customers in, in spain mm -hmm. close to the border of portugal and they had an engine failure and it was well within the warranty so what i did i i have a friend in porto so I oh, had, we love porto i had mm. them to tow the vehicle to porto and then they can still get the warranty and still they don't have to pay for so they don't have to go it. find these people then you'll help them out finding someone to repair yeah, yeah. it but what are some of the other services that you offer for people um so we have three like basic basic services that would be the registration program mm -hmm. obviously the whole guaranteed in the long-term rental and our finders program so for example if you want to purchase a vehicle but it's not in our stock mm -hmm. or you want to have something a bit higher or you have a specific vehicle in mind and you want to keep it for years mm -hmm. then people could also purchase it through us and then they would keep it and we just offer registration insurance and so you they'll give yeah. you what they're looking for and you'll help them find a vehicle that's that it. matches yeah. that and then we can oh that's so, great and only the only difference between this is that people need to um they need to deposit a larger amount right because if we need to buy it we need to because we we're very easy but obviously yeah. if it's a big amount of money and we can't uh we can't miss it for right. like half a year so what does that mean yeah. so basically if there is something that is not within your inventory then they can still and it's yeah. it's on it's on the lot of another motorhome provider you can basically identify that vehicle and then purchase it through them yep. but then you'll manage the entire registration so that they yep. have plates uh, license I, plate and they have everything else in your name but yep. essentially you're just you're just acting like a go-between so the limits of what you can provide is not necessarily just what's on the website yeah. it's anything yeah whatever i think want. that i would have loved to have had them when we started out because remember we were looking through websites and we were like oh well let's go to this this website oh well we don't speak that language and yeah. how do i figure yeah. this out and so I think that's a great service because you know what well, you're yeah. doing. And we can tell them, okay, you can buy this or this is really nice. This is very cheap because you want to have a return on the investment yeah. eventually, even if it's after two right. years. Yeah. And we even offer to get a new MOT on it, to oh, put it great. in storage, to bring it to foreign countries if they oh, want so to. Oh, so you'll drive it to someone? Yeah. Well, they have to discuss it with us, but if they say, okay, we want to start in summer, we want to start in Spain because we don't like the cold weather, uh -huh. <laughs> we can we can discuss with them to pick it up in, in Barcelona, for example, okay. so they could start a trip there. Yeah. So maybe we go to Korea, South Korea, and he can drive it there. We'll it's take lemonade. Far too easy. <laughs> That's too far. <laughs> so there's a limit. Yeah. Well, for the right price, I mean, right, right. probably there will be somebody who would be very happy to drive it to Korea. <laughs> and what, then, what I, love, what I love about what you do is that there are so many people with the dream of doing this, and they have this idea that you know what, if only it was possible. Oh, see, someone's calling. You got to get your RV quick because look, this may be the last one. Sorry.
<laughs> and no, but they had this this like for instance, we we know a lot of Americans, and they say I'd love the idea of actually doing your however one two three four five list of things that i could never figure out if i wanted to do it because it just seems just like there's this this, this wall of information that cannot get past i guess you know when you when you have someone that comes to you like from australia or from from north america and they say i want to do this do they do you have to like educate them the entire process of well, how it we works? do for example well when people arrive they usually never traveled in a motorhome before so even before they arrive, they will have questions, but those questions usually um, are about the setup. For example, where are the beds? Is there a fridge in there? How's the heating work? And then when they finally come here, so like you said, we pick them up from the airport and we usually have them here for a day or two on our yard. Um, they sometimes practice. even Yeah, well, they <laughs> practice a little bit because there's only one way to really find out how it works and yeah. that's to live in it and when they are on our yard even the next day or the day after they could come to us and say hey we're not figuring this out or hey i know you told us but we forgot about it how does it work and that's so what when we bought really ours helps. yeah yeah when we bought ours from a dealership they basically had us in and out in 30 minutes oh i think it was less than that yeah i i think that's i think that's really great because what we did was we took our rv around france for a month before we left a country that we were quite familiar with and spoke the language but even along the way we still had bumps and we didn't know what we were doing and we were completely lost i think if we had had a day or two to sit in one spot and kind of work through it it might have been a lot easier for us now helps, yeah. when you have to teach people from north america i don't know how it is in in australia or other parts but do they, when you tell them they have a cassette and they have to take the poop and go dump it, do they go, Ugh! like, is it totally no, freaked out for no, them? Or? Not really, no, no. Can we dump ours here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, I have, I have a place actually where you can. Okay. <laughs> well. You, you were talking about the, the, what, the payment. They pay a small percentage up front. Do yep. they pay the remainder of what they owe when they take it off the lot? The, depends on what, depends on um, what they want. For example, um, it's up to them, but okay. before they take it off, before they leave with the vehicle, mm -hmm. they need to be, they, it needs to be paid. Fully paid. You yeah. don't finance it or anything no, like no, that. No. Yeah. But most of the times they are here and they pay it when they see, when they see it, when they see the vehicle and then they just, because they're, they can sleep in the vehicle and they can stay here yeah. even though it's not paid yet, but they just can't leave yet. So we have a lot of customers who put enough trust in us to trend, to pay everything. So when they arrive, they can leave. Okay. And but even if they want to wait, it's it's fine. Let us okay. Here's yeah. a very crucial question: Is there an IKEA? 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 Yeah, yeah, however right, you say half it. Because right, you can't yeah. sleep and test it out without no yeah. sheets. Oh right? yeah, but they get it from us, especially the first night. You give that yeah, too? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh! Do you, do you bring coffee to them? And uh, occasionally. Oh yeah. my gosh! Wait, wait, so, so what, <laughs> it's getting better and better. On, I, I'm actually learning more things now. So oh. does, when when they purchase it. Does, does it come with plates and everything else? It comes or? with inventory, yeah. plates, pots, pans, cookery. Wow. Um, it's Does it come with yeah. chairs? It chairs, outside chairs and tables and blocks and buckets. Yeah. Wow. Let's and buy one. Sheets are oh, wait, we already have one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so talk to me about the buyback part. Do What percentage of people do the buyback? Because I know you give Around the option, 70 right? Around 70%, yeah. The other 30 do a long-term rental. Because okay. if it's like within, for example, three months, for three months you could either go for like a guaranteed buyback or for long-term rental. Okay. Because prices are similar. But obviously buyback is always cheaper, but with the buyback you also, you own a vehicle. So right. there's slightly more, uh, you take slightly more risk than a right. rental. Right, right, um, that's why it's That's why it's cheaper than a rental so much. Right, right. Um, so it depends on, but it, people who go for longer than three months, almost all the time take take a buyback. The buyback. And very sometimes they do a long-term rental. So now I have persons, uh, people from Australia, and they do a long-term rental for eight months. Uh -huh. And yeah, they do pay a lot more. They don't yeah. pay the, the price of a vehicle right. like we do. We kind of keep Why? it in the middle, but it is more expensive than a buyback. Why would yeah. someone do a long-term rental of eight months as opposed to buying it? Um, well, if you rent it, for example, if you rent it and um, the tires will be worn out, Okay. Because, for example, you drove oh, fifteen thousand okay. kilometers. Okay, I get it. Uh, it would be for the for the rental agency. Right. And okay, that makes If you sense. buy it, it's if something is worn out or you break your own we, steering they're wheel, they're responsible for fixing it. You have to do it yourself. If it's not yeah, under yeah, the warranty, yeah. because you own yeah. it, you have to fix it yourself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And for example, because the the warranty is for the, for the engine, um, but if tires are worn out or tires yeah. explode, well, obviously we give them tires which right. 
are, are good, good enough yeah. for at least more than the warranty period. Right. But if something happens, if you buy it, it's your vehicle. It's like buying a vehicle in, in yeah. the USA. Yeah. I mean, you own you it. You just it. get this little extra extra right. service from us. But yeah. yeah. But but like you said though before that basically if something does go wrong they you know even if it's the guaranteed buyback and they own the vehicle you know if they wind up in stranded somewhere you'll always help yeah, them yeah we help them yeah, to sort of, of figure find someone out, find yeah. someone and figure out like you know okay i'm not alone in this whole thing and no 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 they never are is there a typical demographic that you find a lot of that that um rent or buy the vehicles from you like is it more people in their 20s is it more families is it more retirees or is it all over the place uh, it's all over the place we have a lot of families um because a lot of our vehicles are very suitable for families yeah but even like the semi-graded vehicles like yourself yeah. they are very good for couples if if they have a bed in the back and uh, they come from all kinds of environments yeah so so how many rvs do you usually have like to, to pick from um, oh, that's a great question. Yeah, so we have we have all kinds of setups, and usually from every setup we have something available. This has been really awesome and very very helpful for us as well, and I hope for everyone that's watching. Yep. What's your email? It's info at europe roadtripcom and we'll put it in the description too, and and link to the website and everything, so you have all of that. Um, I mean, for me, the things that I really love. One, I love that it's a family run business. Um, I grew up in family run businesses and I think that's awesome. Um, you really take pride in your work as opposed to a big corporation just kind of looking at only the dollar amount. And I really love the buyback option that you have because that's a lot of stress I think after you, I mean from two people, Will and I embarking on you know, getting ready to sell lemonade, I'm not super stressed out about it because she's a good vehicle, we've maintained her well um, and she has a reputation online so maybe someone will want her just because she's famous i don't know <laughs> well it's a very nice vehicle yeah but, but it is a little yeah. stressful thinking about okay we want to go to asia and now we got to you know we've got to find a way to sell it so i think that's great because when people are done their adventure or whatever they're doing they've got the next step that they're looking for it and it's super stressful so that's i think a great thing that you offer as well so um this has been awesome thank it's, you it's so been, much for chatting with us well, we're not done yet you're gonna help us fix our bathroom door. <laughs> <laughs> and you wanna dump the poop. Because you poop. love to dump the poop. Exactly. <laughs> Look, and now they're here to fix the, the door out. Just. Oh, yay. Hey. Come on in. Hello. We've been living for the last two weeks with this door right here being just a little bit on edge. And like just this morning, it wound up on its last hinge. So this guy here is gonna fix it for us. Thank you. Thank you. So now with a brand new, not brand new, but a fixed, it feels like brand new bathroom door and more information about RVs than we could ever imagine. We thought we knew a lot enough. Oof. Wow. Wow. There, there's, well, let's just say that our brain is now that much bigger. <laughs> but he's now showed us where we're going to get like the best lunch, Dutch sort of snack. He gave me a list. And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go on to one right now. It's actually just right around the corner. Snack bar, Zudhoff. Look at that. You got. It. I don't know what that is, but it's only a dollar fifty. Thank you. Yum. That's all French fries. Look at this. <gasps> that was one of my highlights from Belgium. Do you think this is the same? This this stuff looks so good. Look at that. That one has like curry sauce and onions on it. Jessica's busy working right now. Uh, I'm coming, I'm coming. And this one just has straight up curry. What do you think, Ava? Mm -hmm. Is it better without ketchup? It's better without curry, just like with ketchup. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not a ketchup. curry person. Can you go back to the store? Are you sure? <laughs> how to ketchup. All right. So just like that, we've learned so much more about how to get an RV in Europe. You know what? Our, our, our World Tiny University class has now become that much better. It has. We give you 10 weeks, plus we now give you a bonus week for RVing Europe. So if you guys think you want to use Happy Camper Service, we highly recommend them from what from speaking with them and learning about their facilities. And if you actually do do it through them, we're going to be so excited for you and them and for connecting the two of you that we're going to send you a hat or maybe a hoodie or a t-shirt, whatever you want. So just let us know if you use their services and we'll send you some swag. Um, comments, put some comments down there. This is the first time we've done something like this in Europe, but so many of you, when we posted the video that says, that said, um, where are all the Americans or how come they're not RVing Europe? We'll link to it up here. 
You guys, the concern was insurance, registration, and how do I purchase a vehicle, an RV in Europe? So now you know, it's that easy. No excuses, get your butt out here. Okay, see you later. Bye. Bye. That makes what it needs to make when you're ready. I'll put it I'll put it in the cup here. I can put it in the cup, that's fine. So you did not have chicken broth? I did, I bought this instead. This is the same thing. Okay. Just a smaller version. Just let me know when you're ready. No, I need a vacation.